Stop serving breakfast soon. I'm never gonna stop serving breakfast in Chick fil A. <sighs> they stop at 10. We got a couple minutes before we can make it. Mm -hmm. Not my rules, Will. Definitely have chiggers again. Oh, weird. You know why I don't have chiggers on my sock line? Ask me. I don't have triggers on my software. No, ask me why I don't have triggers on my software. You know why you don't have triggers on my software. But I want you to ask me. I don't want to ask you because I already know. I'm going to tell you anyway. Because I want my waterproof socks. playing disc golf four years ago uh, prior to that I was a well let's see I've been a sales manager at a car dealership I've been a finance manager at a car dealership uh, I was a mechanic for seven years with Ferrari and Maserati of North America I lived in Italy I worked at the Ferrari factory I built the cars from the ground up really um, it kind of brought me all over the US um, and then found found disc golf and I found myself practicing before work and then practicing after work uh, moving me and my wife to a disc golf course in, in Nashville and Will do you remember the morning rounds? <laughs> Will would do I remember Will, the morning rounds? Will would show up at my house at 5 a.m. We'd drink coffee, eat breakfast, go to the course Play, walk to the course it was 10 feet away yeah, it was right across the street we'd walk to the course we'd play a safari round for an hour and a half i'd leave and, and shower and go to work and then uh, come back home after work and then practice putt and then really l the last couple of years or the la last year i kept telling will i'm 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 doing this i'm going i'm going i'm going i'm going to be in your car i'm doing this and uh so here I am. I left left my job in April of this year, and have been touring ever since. Uh, prior to this year, I've played a total of five tournaments: two in intermediate, three in advanced, <laughs> <laughs> and then jumped uh, uh, plumb into open disc golf. So everything that Will's mentors did for him, he's he has certainly passed along to me. Of, being ready for the course, practicing the shots. Every weekend there's a new shot that he says, throw this, and I say, I don't I don't throw that shot. And he insists and I end up learning the shot and using it in a tournament. Maybe it cost me a stroke, but that's okay. That's learning. Um, yeah, so my, my disc golf story is uh, continuing to grow and my rookie season this year has just been a learning experience of how to lose gracefully uh, to a lot of people <laughs> and how to continue on and, and to keep adding shots to the bag and how to score appropriately in a wooded course and scoring in an open course and scoring on a golf course and scoring on different islands and OB rules and I mean all kinds of different stuff. So 
uh, yeah, keep keep going at it. Score two score rounds and probably practice, but afterwards, and then we should be good. These courses aren't too cool. hard. What? Let's tell them where the courses are pretty cool. Yeah. Are you ready? Okay. Try to watch your carbs. Just try to watch my grease, it's more like it. So hot. You're only allowed to eat Chick-fil-A left-handed. Look at that. That's a nightmare. That won't come off till tonight. Mm -hmm. I'm people that are less experienced than you. Find this. Communicating your message effectively may be your strength. Get the message across to others via advertising, speaking, or writing. Lucky number 6, 14, 19, 29, 44, 47. Mine's way better. I'm gonna have a way better week than you. What is yours? Libra. You may need to order, you may need to change your routine in order to get a clearer perspective. You can broaden your mind by seeking out those who experience the inside. When I first started traveling, I traveled with Chris Oric. I think I was. 14 or 15. So it's a little bit of a different situation than Nate. A little bit. <laughs> By, uh, uh, 12 years? 13 years? Um, I guess what helped me the most was just the fact that he would take me to the tournament. I mean, that itself was something. And I wasn't, oh, I was just a kid, so it's not like I knew what to even ask or even knew what I was doing, I would just go play disc golf. After Chris, I kind of just traveled by myself. Whoa. Is that water bottle by your feet? Up there? Yeah, Which one? Uh, that one yeah. doing the clinic yesterday and I was talking for like 30 minutes I got to a point to where I couldn't even say any more words because my throat was so dry I was like I'm sorry I have to stop and drink a bunch of water the worst. Having coffee stuck in your esophagus.
car, right? How about yourself? Good. Out here on the dark side? Yeah. That sounds really low. I'm like, low? Really, like, not as low as Not as think. low as yeah. the... One thing, though, is that if you're off the fairway, though, on this course, it's pretty much impossible to get up and down if you're way down there. Like, unless you're on the edge. Yeah. You have to be on the edge to get there, up and down. There's a couple of holes that you can get up and down from. There's a couple. I always look for the scramble routes. All right, go down that way. Run right in the middle of the gap. Down. I'm gonna go down here. You wanna play some catch? Yep. All right. Mm. Just tell me if I'm gonna hit the basket. Mm. After playing tiki golf five times, there should be money with that thing. Right. Got it. Would have made it. Nailed it. <laughs> nope. Yep. <laughs> the trees I don't know if I should get a new one or not. It's so warped. But it works good that way. Mine's a, I'm not sure mine's a new. Changed my PA4 game a little bit. Because it doesn't flip. Because it doesn't like, flip. At like 100 feet. Right. I need it to like hydro flip out of Exactly. <laughs> uh. I think I need to change how my contact is over to get back. Do you want me to score? Yeah. Oh, uh, do you want to do it? Two warm up shots and then your real shot. Right. Two off the tee, but then your real tee. Wait, it says tiki course? No. There's another one. All three of them are on here. You can keep score on the tiki course. I don't need to keep score on the tiki course. The guy said nine under. I still can't figure out the seven foot like the just the grip on it's different. The grip is way different. It feels like a fatter putter in your hand. Yeah. How's it going? Good morning. Good morning. Ready? Ready. <laughs> Ready? Yeah, let's do it. I even oh. told myself I was going to throw some 50 P8 one. Gosh. I told myself I wasn't going to hit a tree. Playing some scramble golf early in the morning. Yeah. It's too early to take a bogey. I know I'm gonna throw on this hole. One of these. Shesterig, Nathan Long. Shesterig. <laughs> Never heard that name before. Shesterig. Play up. We already went back on what we get said what we were gonna do. Hmm? Let's go mid off this. Let's throw M2 or M3. Yeah, well, we both were feeling the fairway trees. 
pulled were really scared of stealing the shot, obviously. Literally, you just said it's okay to take a three, so lay up to the middle. And then I went fairway. And you so pull out your F3 back. and you try to run it. You know what I did last night on this hole? Aced it? No. Sidearm. Got F2. It. F2? Stand still. It worked out really nice. Almost too weak. So look, if I, if I can get it to just slow hyzer the entire way, I'm going to get to the basket. No, because it's downhill. Because if you if you go slow hyzer, it's going to skip to the left of the basket, and you got to uphill putt up that mound. You want to go straight. So right there? Is that good? Not really. God, it's the third time today. We'll probably just play this course again. Yeah. Yeah, because it barely went in. I know. Like a D1? Yeah, I'm saying you just have to just accept that you're going to throw it over things like this. Oh, yeah. Going down. Really, you like could go pin. H3 to the left of that gap, but I'm going to do it again anyway. All right, first sidearm of the day for me. No, I've thrown sidearm rollers. Four sat on rollers. I'm gonna hold five. At early morning, this hot scramble. No. Oh. Good. Right. I'm gonna get this one down the fairway. Holly Bush. <laughs> I need a fucking throw. All right, fuck your domes. Thought I did. Now it's right there. I got it. You see it? Now it's right there. Bro. I got it. Sure? Nope. Got it. Did you park it? Yeah. Dude, sweet three. Sweet three. I can't remember what I did here. I think you could go sidearm over the top with a kind of a more overstable disc. And it's just gonna cut right to it. Like go sidearm right where I went with the X1. Uh -huh. I think it would cut pretty good. X1 or H1, really. Because you don't need to go straight, you just need to like cut tight to yeah, the right. That's right. I wonder how many people hit this sign. It's got to be a lot. Got it? He's in! Alright, I'm going to go.
it up. I rode her by many, like, don't miss any putts or something like that, but I rode it in a weird Sharpie. You rode it in. Okay. But it bled, and I got it all over my face. And then at the end of the round, they're like, you've had Sharpie on your face this entire time. You've been sniffing paint again, right? <laughs> I can't remember what I did here. Uh, F2? Yeah. H3. Yeah, that's what it was. That's why I want to throw the F1. Just because, just in case if I throw it too low, it'll still get there. You know. Shuster, 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 and then try to make your putt. Try to land at the yeah. land it at the, the gap. The gap's like 60 from the basket. Well, that's fine. Get up! Look, we land 60. Oh, ah! never mind. Yeah, just ignore that. Hey, that just didn't, that didn't just really play to the trees. Nothing's going to happen. Root, Holly Bush. Stay left. Turn up. Alright, next one. Sunny. Come on down to the sunny side. Play some disc golf. Got it. What? Change. How did that even come out? Are you kidding? That was so perfect. Except it wasn't. How <laughs> did that not go in? Right here. Yeah. Come on down to the sun. Carolina beat North Carolina last night. Did they? Yeah, when they were getting crushed. Not really crushed, but they were getting beaten. Still top? Um, I'll probably be good with this one. I don't have any other discs that I would throw besides this. Right. But you throw whatever you want. Live your life. Live your dream. Oh, yeah. Way shorter than Ooh. last time. Way shorter. <laughs> but if I throw right now, it just means that I did it. Because you did it. I think so. It's only but the truth. I'm gonna go ahead and throw just because. All right, you go ahead. You're out. I don't know what's lamer, the fact that you, we threw the same disc off the tee, or the fact that we're throwing the same disc as our up shot. You threw a D2? Yep. We've done lamer. There's much lamer. Blue. I'm saying distance from right, right, right. the scramble golf. Yeah, if you're looking to get it to go like this, like flip, right. that's the only way you're going to get more distance. All the way. Mm -hmm. 
still 60. That's a lot. Huah. Up. Got it. Dude, that's a birdie. Where I come from. Can you believe it? I think it's a little left. It took a little while to come out. I threw it pretty hard though. I'm getting more than 100 feet off the tee on this one. Yeah. So if I turn it over past that big tree, you're fine. No, you can turn it off. Oh. Got lucky there. Sidearm F2 might work. Nope. Nope, not doing it. Stupid. Yeah. No. Yeah. I mean, it's still fine. It's a little butt over it. Far to the left. Yeah. That gummit. Don't even think that you would do that. I just did it. Go like this. Do a little tomahawk fight. No, it'll get stuck to my hand. It'll be a roller all the way down the fairway and hold in. No way. Not like this. Not like a roller, but that way. Sidearm? Yeah. Sidearm through the gate. Yeah. That's the shot. Yeah, that's really uh, well, there again, I'm not, Alan, there you go. I'm not doing first round anymore. Uh, so after the first round starts, realistically, you can even see that much. I'm ready. Yeah, it's like take yeah. a you can take a five real quick and go. God, you know, dark side. But if you're yeah, I mean you play smart shots and you can score real well. I'm pretty sure it was 13 down. That's what I'm Good luck, Chris. Is that Shay? clear? Alright, we'll have fun. Yeah, we'll see you, man. Yeah. I just hit that. That was a perfect line. Huh? That was a perfect line. It's a lot of practice. A lot of uselessness. <laughs> a lot of downtime. Jump button. Jump button. Hey, 
where'd you learn that bug? Some weird guy was throwing it in the woods. the nostril in first, usually easier, and then you slide, there's a slide on the bottom here, you can tighten it up under your chin so it doesn't come off. Perfect. And then you can mix and match them as you like, you could turn them all on at the same time, you could do one at a time, whatever you, whatever you feel like. And these are 95% pure oxygen opposed to what you're uh, breathing in is about 23% is what we breathe in daily. And that's just smelling thing. That's what it just needs to go up. Let me get one more hit. I'm done. Are you? Yeah. Oh, God. Tiger friend who doesn't. Tiger <laughs> friend that doesn't believe in the future. <laughs> Scoot 
over so I could put the pizza right here. Oh, okay. <laughs> this is great. <laughs> been made. Huh? He's been made. What? He's been made. Yeah. Careful, we can't get any more sheets. <laughs> Pretty yes. They can't hear him. Christopher. Why can't he hear him? Of course he can. He's got an iPhone. Why doesn't he say anything? I don't get it. I don't know. I almost want to call him. Just call him. What does it matter? <laughs> Put him on speakerphone. Gotta make sure our buddy's okay. Hello. Chris. Yeah. What's going on? Fuck. Is everybody there? Yeah. Oh, okay. You guys having a good time? Oh, yeah. Nice. Oh, boy. Everybody all hopped up on that Wi Fi? Yeah, uh, so much Wi Fi. <laughs> <laughs> are, you, are you by yourself? Yeah. Oh, okay. Alright, dude. Well, I'm just calling to wish you good luck tomorrow. And nice, uh, yeah. Good luck to you all, too. Tell him and to make sure that he's not sitting outside hey, in the rain. Tell Will. He said, make tell sure. Will that I can say y'all anytime I want to. He said, you can say y'all anytime he wants to. I'm, I never said that. He what said does that have to do with anything? Ask him if he's caught a fish. He told me to hang up. <laughs> Alright, dude, catch you on the flippity flip. Alright, later. Can't listen to him because there's everybody around. He doesn't know how to raise it to his ear. Hmm. What did you set your alarm to? Hmm? What did you set your alarm to? 615.
Yeah. Was it? To get up. Six fifteen. Huh? Is that six fifteen? Exactly what time we set the alarm for. Think of Sony side. It was okay. Uh, thought some of the wooded holes were more wooded than the dark side. Yeah. Yeah. Ready to go. See, you want to hate on the espresso, but. It's going to get me more hype than that big thing. So it's really hot right now. That was a bad idea. Create the revolution. Mm. Got it. That's the tagline for everything that I do. Not really. <laughs> create it, bro. Just create it. Probably the least memorable was the first time that I ever drove across the country and I was in California and I had to make it back to Nashville, Tennessee to play a tournament on Sunday and I left on Thursday night and I was by myself. So I drove from Huntington Beach all the way to Nashville starting like Thursday morning. It's like a 30 something hour drive. And then I played the tournament Sunday and then drove home to Knoxville that night on Sunday. That was pretty awful. Or driving from Nashville to Portland to play Worlds and then driving home after that. Or driving home from Portland after the Beaver State Fling. Or driving home from Maple Hill Open by myself straight after the tournament, which is like 18 hours. Drove it straight home. Drove to Canada. Drove to like Northwest Canada from Kansas City. I've done that twice. That's really far. Um, probably driven across the country like over 10 times. That's pretty terrible. Sometimes it's okay. But most of the time, when you've been driving for like 12 or 15 hours, you're like, I just want it to be over. And it's only like halfway. That's way longer than I you on nine? You're on Crowler. All right, guys. Um, quick roll call. We have a few people who haven't checked in yet. 31. 31. 
us. I was crying laughing last night. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We're going. Yes. Because you can do like the audio message. You have no idea what we're talking about. Are you kidding? What? Five or six groups in some of these other holes. Um, so, you know, we're going to go through the first couple rounds today, see how it works. If it's a catastrophe, then I'll make some adjustments going into tomorrow. You know, first round of any event is always going to be slow. We've got. All I have got a player's pack with a shirt and a disc. If uh, that's going to affect payout, especially in the women's division. But Chris. Uh, Chris. I got it. Woo! 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 That's all I got. Bravo. Thank you. I'll be away if I do. How many we got on the card? Five? Five. Five of us? Cool. Oh. It looked good, I couldn't see it though. <laughs> Hell yeah, man. Good shot. Dude, despite the, uh, two, the body three, run that I had, three, man. Three, <laughs> Just shooting, Pat. Thanks, bro. It's my best ever out here, man. You started out solid, man. You're tearing it up for a while. Not awful. <laughs> it's so bad. You we'll literally shoot that with a. It's under with an upside down PA pole. Throwing upside down. False. Yeah. No, I don't believe that. I had so many birdies. I had two fives. You get Daddy, you gotta I had two fours. Breath yeah. I had two fives. I think and that's I all think I had. Three fours? What did you shoot, Chris? 52. And I had two fours. You should have killed a little uh, par scheme in on you. I don't even know. Yeah. I killed you. I know. Oh, good three. Will, do you understand what obvious statements are? Yes. You ever heard of them? Yeah. See the irony of that? I think. I threw a shot sitting completely down. <laughs> I was up under one of those holly bushes. What did you get? What did you, what, what's hot on your car? 51. Are you kidding? Those no. 49 on my car. Who? Philbert Moser. But Masters. I was in the Masters. No, I don't know huh? who this guy is. What did you say, Philbert? Philbert had a 49 on this car. Or he was the 49. Whoa, so good. 
saw Zach, I didn't ask him. Of course, I was busy. Yeah. yeah, because anybody can beat that. Apparently not. I shot a 52. Am I just anybody to you? No. no. That's why I said anybody can beat it. So you calling me a nobody? No. You're saying I shot as... Never mind. I'm saying you shot as good as nobody. I gotta be honest, I'm kind of happy with the amount of fours and fives I had on my card. Because I had a lot of twos. What a barrel shoot. Hmm? 51 you said? He shot 52. What? Yeah. In the world. Dude, I just need to like pitch down the fairway and throw like three play discs. That, play that layup the song. Yeah. Seriously. I, I had so many easy holes. I took a four on my first hole. Didn't go out of bounds. On eight. On eight? Yeah. I buried that. And then the corral hole, I throw the hyzer. It skips on the fence. Skips on the fence, like the top rail. I rail grind it. 100 feet away. All the way up to the top of the hill, and then my putt goes like this on the basket. And then falls out. I buried that one too. I missed every one. Sitting down. I, I took a picture of my card because it was so funny. I can't wait to show you. Let's go eat. Fall. This is Cheryl. Hi. Who's that guy over there? Hopefully it wasn't something to the right. The Nathans. The Nathans. <laughs> Unbelievable. Thank you. That'll be all right. That'll be good. I hope so. The goal is right around 50, 51. That's, you're sitting pretty, you know what I mean? If you can go 50, 50, 50, 50, here, you're gonna be in the top five. So, yeah, that's the goal. It's right there somewhere. 57 is not. Oh, seven off. Nice shape up. Where did I shoot? I shot a 47 last time out here nice. to finish. And that was. You need to look at my score from last year. Last year, Phil. Yeah. Try to me. I'll check it out. All right, you guys. The shooting Zache. If I can't get out, I'll just grab my wallet. See you tomorrow. Of course. What's in there? Oh, you Man, early. We're playing dark side tonight. Come get it. Come get it. He's ready. Dude. Don't be ready. Don't be ready. Don't be afraid of the red. Too bad. 
shoot that bull snake that won't chill. What? You took the hair down last night. I did. You did too? Come on, we gotta get packed up. Also, we gotta get breakfast. Also, we gotta get one dog. Chop, chop, Bobby. We also need breakfast. Huh? We also need breakfast. Yeah. So that's it. Get ready in like one minute. Been up since four. No, we got it. So you think we can go to Phil's tonight and do laundry? Yes. I have to call him. You called him? I have to. That would be sweet. Hmm. Why don't we just go to my mom's? That's in Knoxville.
remove your dye bits? Yeah, come on. Want to hear something sad, Nate? As I made, I think I made every putt inside the circle. And I'm still in eighth place. I might have made more than putts inside the circle. I really only missed one putt and I was like 35 feet. Why do we good. match? You're good. It's just proof that you wanted to match me because I was up before you and dressed and ready and you saw what I was wearing. I had one shirt left and it was red. Oh. And at that point, if I wear red and gray shorts, it's like I'm trying to avoid not matching you. You're wearing black shorts too? And we have Solomon's and a hat. What time is tea? Nine. It's already eight. I don't think it's eight yet. Yeah, you got about an hour, maybe a little less actually. Hey, hey, man. So, dude, what's up? You okay? I'm, I'm uh, last story. Okay. Okay, I'm asking. Again, two days in a row. Did you really jump in the basket yesterday? I hit the basket. Yesterday. He did the same thing yesterday. <laughs> Listen, let me give you advice. When somebody makes a putt, don't be like, man, you threw that one really hard. What are you talking about? Uh, what? No, Chris made a good putt. No, dude. And then I'm saying like, Chris made a dozen putts. I can't believe you putted it that hard. Dude, it came out of Chris's hands like almost like he backhands and slams in the basket. Hey, Steven, stop. Where are you going? I gotta kick him. 18. Oh, There's more people on the course. Just because you, you shot 46 doesn't mean you can act like you own the place. It does not. No, you're more like 19th, yeah. 20th. Hey, Ella. 5, 10, 15, 13. Notice that you're on mm -hmm. 10. Don't forget that. Okay. Yeah, it'll be weird starting a whole one. 10's right next to it. Don't forget. What hole are you on? 13. All right, let's go play. 10. How are you? Good Sam. Luck. Sam, Sam. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Good job. Oh. 
what's going on. Anybody watching? Nope. Sorry, Steven. Uh, sorry, sorry, sorry. I didn't mean it like that, Steven. <laughs> What'd you say? I said that frame on the last one. <laughs> I didn't mean it. Probably uh, the biggest thing that somebody could learn is how to practice and prepare for a tournament. Because it's not like showing up the day of and practicing the course once and then being ready to go. It's more like leaving Tuesday to get there Tuesday night to play Two rounds Wednesday, practice putt. Play two rounds Thursday, practice putt. Play two rounds again Friday to where you know the course, 
run it back. Yes, sir. And practice but once again. Or have a clinic and then go do that, come back, learn the area. There's a lot of stuff that goes along with just traveling and playing.